Poland's bet with Ukraine angered many in Europe and was a gift for Putin. CNN, Europe's support for Ukraine faces an unexpected cobble this week as Poland. Hitch, Hitherto, the stoutest ally on the continent seems to declare it stop sending arms to its neighbor. The move came after Ukraine's president Volodymyr Zelensky criticized Warsaw for continuing to ban Ukrainian grain import and is the latest example of more confrontational behavior from Poland's government towards Kiev, just ahead of the tight general election in the country. The political theater has raised a number of important questions. Most important among them will this be the moment that Europe's state steadfast resolve against Russia's full-scale invasion finally cracks. So how did the dispute over grain import escalate into the diplomatic crisis? The European Union placed a temporary ban on grain import from Ukraine in May to avoid the bottleneck of cheap grain that risked undercutting farmers in Poland, Hungary and Slovakia. The EU suspended the ban last week, angering those countries who vowed to keep restrictions in place and in turn sparking protest from Poland. Poland is weeks away from the national election on October 15, in which the ruling Law and Justice Party, called the PIS, is expected to suffer losses. Anyone who follows the European politics will tell you that agriculture is incredibly important. Farmers are motivated political agents and citizens tend to care about food security, sometimes dis disproportionately and irrationally, and the PIS will need a ruler vote to, to remain in power. It therefore makes, makes sense that the Polish government would want to make a top, topping, headline gambling, grabbing nationalist gesture. However, this relatively marginal spot spiraled out of control on Tuesday when Zelensky told, Zelensky told the UN General Assembly it is alarming to see how some in Europe, some of our friends in Europe, play out solidarity in the political theater, making a thriller from the grain. Polish Prime Minister Mateusz Mola Olawiski responded on social media next day, saying, We no longer transfer weapons to Ukraine because we are now alarming, arming Poland. Poland has since moved to walk back those comments, promising that it will send, it will still send weapons it has already committed to provide. Polish President Andrei Duda has said his prime minister's words are interpreted in the worst possible way. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky pictured at the UN headquarters in New York City on September 20, 2023, has been caught on diplomatic spot with Poland over a grain dispute. Polish Prime Minister Mateusz Morawiecki Featured on September 8, 2023, seems to declare Poland will stop, will stop sending weapons to Ukraine, sending relations between the both countries into the tailspin. Tailspin. The dispute raised the important questions of our European unity. The first and most important point, however, is that no European officials seriously believe that the there is uh, about to be a dramatic change in policy when it comes to supporting Ukraine, especially from Poland. This is uh, all elections, blah blah, farmers or PIS constituency, says the senior European defense source. Pol Poland will continue to provide arms to Ukraine along, uh, as long as it takes. I have no doubt about that, says the NATO officer. Post Police have a vital interest in Ukraine winning this war, as otherwise they will be exposed to, to their arch army, Russia, directly. But they have to play muscles now. 
because of the elections, says the EU official. Despite the expectation that this is the all noise aimed at the domestic audience, it is hard to overstate the level of anger at Poland. A senior UN diplomat told CNN, Ukraine already offered Poland a solution on grain, which is why they are so pissed off at Poland. As are 24 member states who have been buried for 18 months by Poland for not doing enough to support Ukraine. This sentiment was echoed by sources at NATO within the EU institutions from and from national capitals across the Europe. The com- contempt is perhaps the best characterized by one EU Commission official who said it needs to be seen in the context of the upcoming elections, the nationalist agenda of the current government and the aggressive stance on the grain issue, migration and anything they see as a threat to nat- national interest of Poland. They also attack Brussels and the EU when it fits their agenda. It is desperate effort to mobilize the border. If you have no substance to offer, then you start to create and blame an outside enemy to cover up for domestic policy failures. The most serious takeaway from all of this is what it might be, what it might mean. For Ukraine in the long term. The West is currently making a great effort to fold Ukraine into its institutions. The cu- country is currently, currently trying to join both the EU and NATO for each it has uh, un- unanimous support. That support, however, already comes with the caveat K- and the conditions. Most EU member states accept that in order to accommodate Ukraine, there will need to be a substantial reform to how the EU operates. If Ukraine were were joined to to join as things stand, lots of the funding that currently goes to member states in the form of a subsidy, subsidy, including for agriculture, would instead go to Ukraine, try selling that to Polish farmers. The current EU structures would also give each newest member massive influence in the institutions, namely the Parliament and the Council of Member States. When it comes to NATO, there are members of the alliance who don't love the idea of a country literally at war, having access to the Article 5 mechanism. The all all for one and one for all trigger that impels the allies to support one another. For a military alliance, many of the NATO countries don't particularly like spending money on defense for themselves, let alone each other. Poland's farms tantrum allows countries who feel they have been strong armed, not least not least by Poland, to support Ukraine can now rhythmically push back on the wisdom of the West throwing so much support to the country that is not even in the alliance. The final region that officials across the Europe are furious about this week's event is that it hands Russian President Vladimir Putin a propaganda cop. Kremlin spokesperson Dmitry Peskov, when asked about the spot, used to use it to say there are certain tensions between Warsaw and Kiev. We predict that these tensions will increase. Russia's misinformation war is often described by diplomats as a zero-sum game. What is bad for the West is good for Russia. Public spots between the West West makes it easy to claim that the West is divided, and the divided West is certainly the good thing for the Kremlin. CNN, Radina Gigoba, and Anna Chernoba contributed reporting.